हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज रश्मि सिंह वेलकम टू माय चैनल अनरैवलिंग साइंस सॉल्यूशंस फॉर कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड्स पार्ट टू क्लास टेन चैप्टर फोर बैक एक्सरसाइजेस First, ethane with molecular formula C two H six has a six covalent bond, b seven covalent bond, c eight covalent bonds, or d nine covalent bonds. So here is the structure of ethane. You can see it has one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven covalent bonds. So correct answer is option number B. Second, butanone is a four-carbon compound with the functional group a carboxylic acid, b aldehyde, c ketone, or d alcohol. So this is the structure of butanone, and you can see it has CO group. So that means it is a ketone. So option number C is the correct answer. third while cooking if the bottom of the vessel is getting blackened on the outside it means that the food is not cooked completely b the fuel is not burning completely c the fuel is wet and d the fuel is burning completely correct option is b the fuel is not burning completely it is because the incomplete combustion of carbon results in the formation of unburnt carbon particles called soot fourth explain the nature of covalent bond using the bond formation in ch3cl so the structure of ch3cl is given below we know that carbon is a tetravalent that it has four valence electrons it shares one electron each with three hydrogen atoms and one electron with chlorine the bond between the c and cl atom is covalent but due to higher value of electronegativity of chlorine the ccl bond is polar in nature fifth draw electron dot structures for a ethanoic acid you can see the structure here hydrogen sulfide propanon and fluoride fluorine gas sixth what is homologous series explain with an example a homologous series is a series of carbon compound that have different number of carbon atoms but contain same functional group for example homologous series of alkane having carbon atom as 1 2 3 4 are called methane ethane propane butane respectively similarly alkynes with carbon atom 2 3 4 are called ethyne propyne butyne respectively it can be noticed that there is a difference of ch2 unit between each successive compound Seventh, how can ethanol and ethanoic acid be differentiated on the basis of their physical and chemical properties? So, the difference between ethanol and ethanoic acid on the basis of physical properties are: ethanol has low melting point, that is one fifty six, and low boiling point, three fifty one Kelvin, whereas ethanoic acid has moderate melting point, two ninety, and boiling point, three ninety one Kelvin. Ethanol has a burning taste. Ethanoic acid has a sour taste. Ethanol has a distinct smell. Ethanoic acid has a pungent smell. Now, on the basis of chemical properties, ethanol is neutral in nature, thus has no action on litmus paper, whereas ethanoic acid. is acidic in nature thus turns blue litmus to red ethanol does not react with sodium carbonate and bicarbonate ethanoic acid 
reacts with sodium carbonate and bicarbonate to give carbon dioxide. Eighth, why does micelle formation takes place when soap is added to water? Will the micelle be formed in other solvents such as ethanol also? As you can see in the picture, a soap molecule has two parts, the non-polar hydrocarbon that is hydrophobic tail part and the polar ionic part that is hydrophilic head part. The hydrophobic part hates water so it is insoluble in water. On the other hand, hydrophilic part loves water so it is soluble in water. When soap is dissolved in water and clothes are put in soapy solution, soap molecules converge in a typical fashion to make a structure called micelle. In this structure, the hydrophobic end that is tail is at the center of the sphere and hydrophilic end head is outside of sphere. So the oil and dirt is trapped in this micelle structure and is washed away when rinsed with water. Other solvents such as ethanol in which sodium salts of fatty acid does not dissolve so it is not able to form such micelles. Ninth, why are carbon and its compound used as fuel for most applications? Carbon and its compound give a large amount of heat on combustion due to high percentage of carbon and hydrogen. Carbon compound used as fuels have optimum ignition temperature with high calo refect value and are easy to handle. Therefore, carbon and its compound are used as fuels. Tenth, explain the formation of scum when hard water is treated with soap. Hard water contains salts of calcium and magnesium. Soap molecules react with the salts of calcium and magnesium to form a precipitate. This precipitate begins floating as an off-white layer over water. This layer is called scum. Soap loses their cleansing property in hard water because of the formation of this scum. 11th, what change will you observe if you test soap with litmus paper, red or blue? Since soap is basic in nature, it will turn red litmus blue. However, the color of blue litmus paper will not change. 12th, what is hydrogenation and what is its industrial application? Hydrogenation is a chemical reaction between hydrogens and other compounds in the presence of catalyst. For example, hydrogenation of ethane, in, ethane into ethane in the presence of catalyst nickel. Industrial applications are hydrogenation is used in petrochemical industry to convert alkenes into alkane and cycloalkanes. And it is also used to prepare vegetable ghee from vegetable oils. 13. Which of the following hydrocarbons undergoes addition reaction? C2H6, C3H8, C3H6, C2H2 and CH4. Unsaturated hydrocarbons undergoes addition reaction. Since C3H6 and C2H2 are unsaturated hydrocarbons, they undergo addition reaction. Note, saturated hydrocarbons have single bonds like alkane and unsaturated hydrocarbons have two or more bonds like alkene and alkyne etc. Since CH, C3H6 and C2H2 are not alkanes, they are unsaturated hydrocarbons. 14. Give a test that is used to differentiate chemically between butter and cooking oil. Butter and cooking oil can be differentiated with the help of bromine water test. Butter is saturated carbon compound while cooking oil is an unsaturated carbon compound. Cooking oil will decolorize the red color of bromine water on shaking while butter will not. 15th, explain the mechanism of cleaning action of soap. As you can see in the picture, Soap are sodium or potassium salts of fatty acid. Two ends of molecule of soap behave differently. The ionic end is hydrophilic and is oriented towards water. The other hydrocarbon end is hydrophobic and is oriented towards dirt which is oily in nature. A missile formation around the oil dirt takes place when flushed with excess water. 
Michelle containing dirt is removed, thus cleaning the clothes. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe.